Hey guys, Mr. B here again, bringing you another lovely math video. Uh, this one on trying to find the derivative of uh, cube root of x. So I've been asked this question over the last few classes, um, and I thought it might be a good idea to do a video on it. So, um, like I've said before, any type of radical, uh, oftentimes it's easier to write it as its exponent form. So if we have, you know, cube root of x... So one of the things you should be familiar with is being able to write this as x to the one-third. So um, your index right here is the in the denominator, so this guy right here. And then if there was an exponent, which there isn't in this one, but if there was an exponent, then that would be the numerator of my fractional exponent. All right, so once I have that, um, I want to um, use the power rule to be able to differentiate this guy. So if you, if you remember the power rule, so the derivative goes y prime, so the power rule goes um, I multiply my exponent times my coefficient, well my coefficient is just one so my new coefficient is one-third and then I keep my variable x and then I'm going to subtract one off of one-third, so one-third subtract one is negative two-thirds Oops negative two-thirds. So there it is. There is the derivative of uh, the cube root of x. So one-third x to the negative two-thirds. So depending on your teacher, uh, or whatever you have, I said this in the root x video, um, and I think I overcomplicated it in that video anyway, but anyway, uh, you know, they might want you to get rid of the negative exponent or simplify or whatever, ha whatever have you. Uh, for my students, I tell them with derivatives, don't go too far with it. Focus on getting the derivative and using the rules. Don't worry about the simplification after. If there's something obvious that you can do, then do it. But I don't think writing this with a radical makes it any easier or any more useful. I think this works perfectly fine. So I hope that helps you. Um, thanks for watching.